Hey, 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 what's up, y'all? Welcome to my channel, T-Girl Magic Tarot. Here to do a reading for my J -J Gemini. My Gemini. What is going on, Gemini? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you. Oh, let me get my little grounding um, smoky quartz ring at least. Okay, I hope everyone's doing well. Thank you guys for joining me, sending you so much love, so much light, so much abundance. Healing vibes, prosperity, all that stuff. A hundred million trillion fold, Gemini. Yes, I am. All right, now this, keep in mind, now this is a general message. It's not going to resonate with each and every beautiful soul here, okay? Only take what resonates and leave the rest. Please don't force nothing to fit. Choir, come to the front so we can raise the vibrations. One, two, three, oh, T girl, tarot, magic and collective. T girl, T girl, T girl, magic and collective. T girl, tarot, magic and collective. Come check us out and see what we're about. Oh, we are Gemini, 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 Gemini. Gemini, we sing Gemini, 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 Gemini. We are Gemini, 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 Gemini. Yay! Give the choir a round of applause. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Yeah, that made me feel great. Clean out that nasty-ass energies, right? That's what I'm talking about. Get out of our house, nasty energies. All right, Holy Spirit, ascended masters of the highest white light, pure love only. Um, What energies, what messages do you have for my beautiful Geminis? Uh, ooh, Lord have mercy. Hold on, Gemini. Let me get it. Let me do a little shuffle thing and see. Look in between and see what's going on. Oh, Lord, Gemini. Mm, okay, Gemini, y'all doing some spring, some summer cleaning, maybe. But Holy Spirit, what's going on with Gemini? What's going on? Milk and honey. Okay, you're in the land of milk and honey. Some of y'all going to the park and stuff. Mm, all that glitters came out with milk and honey. What else, Spirit? So there's some, some fakeness going on some goddamn where, okay? I know y'all ain't about to be having no sex at the park. If spirits say, if you are, I need you to take a nap, okay? Sit that shit on down. Don't become community property for some of y'all, okay? What else, Holy Spirit? That was for somebody, okay? Go the distance, okay? You put in too much work, okay? Okay, it is the weekend now. It is the weekend. I don't know what day this will be, but I am recording on, um, yeah, towards the weekend. Okay, you've been working so damn hard, Okay, on manifesting and elevating your divinity and getting closer to your ancestors and the Holy Spirit. Okay, I know you feel blind. Some of you don't know where you're going, but you're walking by faith and you're really passionate about what you do. So there's something about this person, whoever you are, that you don't see. You're not thinking. Okay, whoever this is, you're not thinking. The thinking is in reverse. Okay, and you're going to be left out in the cold this is like a five of pentacles card to me from this dick that's the yang okay because whoever you're dealing with is fake because all they want is some milk and honey from you i'm just saying i don't know why spirit say just calm down breathe and think because right now you're thinking that this person is your soulmate but you need to calm the fuck down okay i don't know who the hell i'm talking to and observe what the hell is going on Deep down inside, you really know this person is not for you. They're not even on your level. Why are you fucking settling? What the hell is going on? Who the hell? Yeah, you're trying to crow create with a loser. Oh, wow. Because you feel it's a faded event. Oh, my God. For real. Because mm, this person make you happy. Mm, interesting. All right, lower vibe. I am definitely talking to her lower vibrational energy, okay? So we're healing, learning, growing, and evolving to be better than we were the day before. And you're here on this channel, okay? And I don't know how long you've been here if you just got here, but you're about to go out and do something with somebody for some sex. And what you're thinking it's something that it's not. Yeah, this person is not for you. You're willing to go the distance too. And Spirit has brought your ass way too far for you to not be thinking about this shit because you're feeling like they're a soulmate. Uh-uh, uh-uh. What else, Holy Spirit? To be fair, mm, in the reverse, honey. 
So someone's not being fair. They're not looking at things for what they really are, okay? What is to be fair, Holy Spirit? What else? Oh, hold on, y'all. It's a faded if it has to be fair in the reverse because you feel, okay, you so you're feeling this is not fair. Oh, it's not fair because we're meant to be because you've been waiting forever for this new person. But guess what? If you're not completely and fully healed, you're going to get a, the same raggedy energy in another fucking vessel. Okay. And this is, this seems to be what that energy is. Okay. Um, and also for the, the healed the elevated, you're in the land of milk and honey because you're doing exactly what you're supposed to be doing, okay? You're meditating, you're co-creating, you're going the distance, okay? You're cutting out people, places, and things that don't serve you, and you're very passionate about whatever your creative projects are. Whatever you do, okay, it's healing to you. It puts you in a yin energy, all right? And you're not even thinking about this person because there is someone in your energy feeling left out in the cold too, okay? High vibe. This is someone who you left. You've left the building, okay? Um, they were a soulmate at one point of time, and now they want to come back and regenerate with you, even though you've left the building. Your eyes are closed. Your back is turned towards this person. You're not thinking about them. You're thinking about going the extra di distance, and you're focusing on whatever you're working on and co-creating right now with the universe, with God, okay? This person wants you to fucking release whatever... Thoughts that you might have about them, but, you know, now they want to come to the edge, okay, because, and, and put in the teamwork. But you've already given this person a chance before. They're a fake bitch. This is where this fakeness comes in. They just want to come in and co-create with you because you are in the land of milk and honey or will be or you're co-creating wealth for yourself, okay? Very stable energy with the six. That's material wealth to me, the material plane. And this person doesn't think that it's fair, okay? You could be dealing with a Libra or any other sign. It doesn't have to be. But whoever is in this orphan energy that doesn't think, so they don't they don't think clearly. They're a quick, swift mover, okay? Um, you guys are totally the opposite. We got the yang and the yin and the yin and the yang. That's why they think you're your soulmate. You're, you guys are soulmates, okay? This person want to come in and exchange gifts with you if you know what I mean, Okay? But on this, this is a never-ending story with this person. Okay, they keep repeating cycles and never learning the lessons at all. This person's very, they are in their head about having sex with you. I don't know why I picked that up. And they think there's something in, unfinished between you guys. Some of you guys could be writing songs, I mean, could be songwriters writing songs for someone getting married. Maybe for your own marriage, but... um. I hear when you play piano in the dark. So this person might be playing piano in the dark because they feel in some kind of way that you you regenerated. Look, you guys used to argue a lot with this person, okay? This person used to start arguments all the time to leave you out in the cold. So they like to play mind games with you, okay? And now they're all in their heads feeling sad. Yeah, they don't think, oh my God. And then because you've regenerated and you're now in this yin energy, so you've created a whole life for yourself with this land of milk and honey, Gemini. And you're poised on a platform. Yeah, you've had a spiritual awakening. You had a spiritual awakening and this person knows it. They, they can see it because you are on a platform and they look at you at night. Okay, they stare at you at night wherever you are. Okay, you're all poised and zen. You relax this person when they look at you. Mm hmm You do. You relax them. You make them feel serendipity. <laughs> you make them feel serendipity. And then they start to start imagining and thinking and lurking and looking at what could have been if they would have got with chill. They would have been helped too. But right now they in this orphaned ass energy could be facing poverty like literally, literally, literally right now because they're thinking, oh my God, I went over here into this yang energy. So they possibly left you for a one night stand, a sexual encounter. They weren't thinking and now they need a leg up. Okay. And you don't want nothing to do with this person because look, you've been fair to this person. So it's in the reverse. You're done. You've wiped your energy, your hands clean of this person because they are... They're uh, like they're repetitive. They're very repetitive. You're tired of going around and around. This person's third eye chakra is blocked. Okay, I'm going to tell you that right now. Yours is wide open. As you see the uh, halo over her head as she's sitting down, it's radiating around her crown chakra. This is you. 
And then this motherfucker, they see how that, that shit is not even lit. It's just a, it's plugged. It's like nothing, okay? You're blessed and highly favored, and now they're at a fork in the road. They don't know what to do. They Now they feel time is up, but time has been up already. They want to know why, why. Oh, my God. This is some weird shit, okay? This person, what is, spirit, hold on. Holy Spirit, what is wrong with this person? I don't, I don't understand their logic. Okay, now if the Knight of Wands come out, that means they got a mental problem, child. Now, what's wrong with this person? Okay, why do they have the thoughts that they thought, they think? Why do they, what the hell is going on? They don't think. They do shit too quick, and then they're in regret at the end of the situation. They ran into a fake bitch who they thought they could co-create and who was the land of milk and honey. It could be a leather air sign that's your person from the past. This possible fire sign or earth sign left to go to because they thought they were going to get the land of milk and honey and they were going to go create with a whole nother bitch and leave you out they threw your love out they threw your love off the cliff you see they just tossed it to the side to the wayside and now they're in this fucking energy and now they're like oh my god it's a never-ending story but this person causes their own never-ending stories okay so what is the, what is the mind frame of this person honey what is the, what, what, tell me, spirit, because I need to understand. They sex, they, the sex, 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 sex. This is why they left. A passionate night. You're, they are the yang, you are the yin. You're calm. You're not se over sexual. Okay, you're focused on your coin. You're focused on building your empire. You're tired of going around and around. Yes, this is your soulmate, but it's, they feel it's an unfinished symphony. They want to bring balance to this and possibly come in and offer you some fake ass marriage okay you could have children with this person okay and they want to come in and reconcile with you okay that's what they do what is what is in this person's headspace they they down there they not smart spirit what is in this person's headspace because i don't think jim and i want them back now not in my high vibes not for show what is this spirit yeah you look they lying that's all they do they're lying about wanting to regenerate that's number one because this person is lazy as hell. Okay, they have third party situations and that's what they walked away from you to, to do. To have a third party situation to keep you entangled and entrapped. Oh, Lord. Oh, okay. Yeah, they're going to communicate to you that they want forgiveness and they might communicate to you how they got backstabbed and betrayed. So they might want to trauma bond with you like you care. Look, they got backstabbed and betrayed and they want to heal with you now. After the fact, but look, they're in balance too. There they go. There they go. There they go. In balance. Money in balance. Mentally in balance. And now they want to come and cuss you and charge you. Come and charging you. Charging at you with this knight of swords right here. Pissed off. Wanna, but this person was cold and detached from you because they were exercising their own other options as they ghosted you. As they ghosted you because they wanted to win at all costs and make you feel some kind of way and be petty. This is a petty bitch. So they ended up bringing their own tower to their own life because the Ace of Pentacles was given to you because that's who you are. You manifest your shit and they're spying at you receiving this Ace of Pentacles and all these Ten of Pentacles and all these blessings, this land of milk and honey. They're watching you receive this and they're heavily burdened by this because it happened so fucking quickly. They didn't see it coming. They didn't see it coming, okay? And that God hid this from this person because they were a fake bitch. They were not allowed to enter into the land of milk and honey that you and divine, divine has blessed you. Divine, look, I seen the blessing highly favor card. I did see it. I saw it. I saw it. I did. But anyway, we seen it. We saw it. Anyhow, look. This person is not allowed to celebrate with you. They are not allowed to enter into this land of milk and honey. They are way too low vibrational. Look at these two energies. Your energy is this. Their energy is that. You're the rainbow. They're the fucking darkness of the stank. Okay. You're the yin. This beautiful pink, loving, tranquil energy. And there's a hot spit fire. Just want to bust nuts everywhere and put their penis all over the place. This person's a hot... A hot ass mess. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. Wounded warrior, crusting, thirsting, and busting, honey. Never ending story. They want to come back and trauma bond with you. Talking about can we co create? And you like, bitch, no, you not for me. I regenerate by myself because your ass is a liar. And you don't go the distance, even though you're telling me you want to go the distance. Baby, I only see one person up here, which is you, high vibe, whoever, whatever sign you are, whatever sex you are. You're building this alone and by yourself with the. 
exception of divine. Okay, so divine's building this in you. So that's him, you know, building. And you have, you're doing it by faith. Okay, you listen to God. You follow instructions. And that's why you're able to regenerate because you walk by faith and not by sight. And you go the distance. And you are very successful for judgment goes in your favor. Okay? You are the star, darling. Yes, you are. Okay, on a public platform somewhere, a healer, love. Look, you on a public platform, whoever you are. You're on a public platform and people around you are judging you. But they don't have, yeah, because... <laughs> They're watching you be happy and poised and loving and it's causing an imbalance to these people. It's causing an imbalance to their emotions, okay? And they're feeling backstabbed and betrayed and these people are feeling left out in the cold or whoever this energy is, whoever it is, whatever it is, they're feeling left out in the cold and there's all this conflict and they're fighting all the time over you, over your success, over the way you're healing, the way you're poised on the stage. Whatever you say, you speak the truth, okay? Okay? And the will literally is in your favor as you sit in this King of Pentacles energy. So, yeah, you got motherfuckers mad about it because you're a transformer. You're not a Decepticon. You know, there's more than meets the eye to you, Gemini, high vibe, whoever you are. Okay, and these people can't use you anymore because you see right through them. And now you've had your spiritual awakening, your elevation, ascension, whatever. And you're going to keep continuing to have them until you get to that point. And, um... Yeah, these people, they can't take it. They never, ever, ever, ever thought that you would be where you're at, Gemini. And they have nothing but towers. And now they're in a depression because they had the ace in their hand and they let that fucking ball slip. Yep. And you and the way and the way you co-create is you literally manifest. You manifest with your heart and your mind. Like you are solid. Like when you get when you get a vision. And you hold that thing, okay? So you're actually exercising faith. And that's how you're such a wonderful manifester because these people can't fuck with your faith. They can't fuck with God. That's the problem where they seem to realize. They try to manipulate energies and shit and try to do all this bullshit, but they don't know who the hell you are. You're the child of God. And then when God say, that's what it is at the end of the day. Yep, the temperance angel then spoke, okay? Exposed all these fake ass bitches that backstabbed and betrayed you over and over again. And you're moving forward into your honey and your land of your co-creation of your ace of cups and shit. And it's going to be generational wealth for eternity. It's going to keep repeating itself, repeating itself, repeating itself. This ace of cups, okay? You and God co-creating. The ancestors are there. Here we are, baby. We right with you. Yes, we are. And um, you don't even have to think about shit. We, you just being led and guided into this king of pentacles energy, into this wealth, into this land of milk and honey. So, Gemini, I love this reading for you guys, okay? So, yeah, keep doing the work. Keep healing. Keep growing. Keep being a warrior in the fight, okay? You guys are moving in the right direction, and I love each and every one of you, sending you all the love, all the light, all the joy that I can possibly. So, until next time, Gemini, love you. Bye.